Happy Friday, Happy Friday, people Happy of the world. Friday. We are going to figure out who planned or how. Or Let's go. Let's Why? do it. Yeah. <laughs> so she really was planning a murder. And she tried to set me up being Mew. Well, I knew that from the start. Of course you did. Then why did you say I was the culprit? <laughs> because I wanted to get through your thick skull. People you trust and defend will ultimately betray you. This is a game of suspicion. Yikes. Oh, the suspect. Well, I think your ideal should stay the same. Because phonies like you are what makes the game more interesting. <laughs> don't you agree, Monokuma? Hmm, do I? I don't know about that. Monokuma is taking such a backseat in this whole game. Yeah. Huh? Wait, what were we talking about? I wonder when Daddy's going to get his motivation back. Yeah, if Father keeps slacking off, all the work is, is going to get forced onto Mommy. Huh? Mommy? Uh, my head. I feel like I'm about to remember something, but I can't. What's wrong, Monotaro? Pull yourself together! Anywho, <laughs> it's a blessing in disguise that Mew died and not me. Uh, what you mean? <laughs> what you mean? What, what, what you mean? Because she, would she wouldn't have said anything about what really happened in the virtual world. You guys would have had a way harder time finding the culprit, you know? She would have been able to lie about the virtual world settings as much as she wanted. And you'd never know that the murder actually took place in the virtual world. So that's why she would... <laughs> <sighs> Beth had to take a yawn right at that moment. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why she decided to attempt a murder. Because she had total control. Then the reason you was so insistent we go into the virtual world was... Here's my flashback. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you guys are only bitching because you haven't been to the virtual world yet. But once you go, you'll understand. Seriously, it's so fucking awesome. I know you guys will love it. I'm sweaty. And then you're going to fall in love with me for showing it to you guys. So let's just dive right in, okay? We'll do it together. Said Mew in my flashback. <laughs> she was insistent we go there so she could kill us. What a shady person. I was sad that she was gone, but now I don't know what to think. Hmm. But she was so helpful. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Backstabbed by a trusted friend. See? That's an ideal fun situation. Now we can start a real class trial. Hey, Kokiji sort of sound like Monokuma. Huh? Really? I don't sound anything like him. No, you're just like Monokuma. Both of you are cowards. You never speak the truth or show your true face. Kaito, yes. Hell What's yeah. his, what, ask him what his name is. Oh, hey, name? coward. You say some interesting things sometimes, Kaito. Smiling, putting on a mask, never saying what you really think. That kind of cowardice is just like Monokuma. Daddy, they're calling you a coward. Aren't you going to do something? Yeah, yeah. I just got to do my signature laugh right. Ho, 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 there I did it. <laughs> He's completely lost his drive, like a one-hit wonder who clings to their former fame. Uh, my head. Listen up, Kukich. To hell with this game of suspicion crap. I'll never be okay with it. Kaito. I'm just gonna believe in everyone. Instead of suspecting my friends, I'm gonna find the truth by believing in them. I like, I you. have this whole game. <laughs> well, if you think you can win a game like that, then sure. Be my guest. Be my guest? Put my service to the test. Yes, whatever. Of course <laughs> I can. I'll need your permissions. How long are you guys going to argue? Let's hurry up and continue. Thanks, Monkey. If we don't find the culprit, then we'll all die. You know that? Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. If we're going to begin searching for the culprit, let's start with Kokichi's story. Huh? My story? You were meeting with Miyu, but she ended up as the victim. So it's only natural for us to think that you're the killer, right? Here's my answer. I never met up with Miyu. Hmm, you didn't? 
I tried to go to the roof to meet up with her, but the door was locked. But isn't lock picking your specialty? You should have been able to open it easy. I couldn't pick locks with my avatar body. I didn't have the tools for it either. Also, I never went to the roof. Not even for the meeting. I remember. You and Gonto went off together when we first started looking. But was the door to the roof actually locked? When I was on the roof before logging out, the door wasn't locked. Huh? How should I know? Then who locked the door from the, to the roof? I already told you. How should I know? When I went to the roof, it wasn't locked, so you got to be lying. What good would it be if I lied? I don't want to die either, you know? Lying would do you a lot of good if you're the culprit. <sighs> He's like, well, yeah. <laughs> oh! oh! <laughs> I see! I didn't realize that! Kokichi! What kind of response is that? That's suspicious as hell! Wait, there's no point in arguing about that now. The truth will come out eventually. Yeah, Shuichi. <laughs> Redirect. Before we get to that, we need to discover the truth behind Miu's death. Truth? There were mysterious circumstances surrounding her death. We need to make sense of those first. Wow, Shuichi. You know your way around this game. Yes, keep up the hard work. Let the fate of our lives rest in your hands. So, what is this strange circumstance? Kokichi claims it was Miu who chose the meeting place. But I'm wondering how she got from the chapel to the mansion roof. So are we. I see! Miu sent the, sent the bridge connecting the mansion and chapel into the river herself. Uh, oops! My hand <laughs> slipped, she said! Love it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just took your voice. I <laughs> I'm not mad. <laughs> <laughs> if that's the case, then Mew might not have gone to the roof. Huh? So she stood me up? It's very rude to break a promise. Huh. It's true. First we need to determine if Mew was actually there or not. Did she go? Or was she never at the roof at all? I'm guessing Tenko's account is going to come into play here. How does Tenko know? She saw Miu through the window. Tenko's dead, girl. Sorry, girl. fucking <laughs> Sumuki. <laughs> uh, Miu was waiting for me to arrive. I'm, I'm sure, sure she was waiting on the rooftop of the mansion. No, Miu should have been at the chapel. That's what I'm going to counter. If you look at where her avatar fell, it's right next to the chapel. How would she have gotten to the mansion? There was no bridge over the river. A bridge would be the only way to get across. <laughs> so her meeting with Kokichi. <laughs> she, she stood me up! Stood you up! Oh. <laughs> First glance, it seemed impossible. But there has to be some evidence that shows it was possible. Yeah. Which one are you He was do? waiting for me to arrive. I'm sure yeah. she was waiting on the rooftop of the mansion. Me should have been at the chapel. That's wrong. Me who's a person. <laughs> You must have gone to the mansion. We have a witness. Yeah, when I was searching the dining room, I saw Mew pass by the window. Uh, then why didn't you say so sooner? Sorry, I thought I was just mistaken at first. Since there was no way she could have come to the mansion. But I guess I wasn't mistaken after all. That was definitely Mew. Then how did she get to the mansion from the chapel? There must have been some special method only Mew knew about, like with that cell phone. There's no doubt about it. That's why she dropped the bridge. If a murder occurred when it was impossible to cross the river, she wouldn't be implicated. She used a secret method to move from the chapel to the mansion for the murder. She dropped the bridge to make a huge scene just to let everyone know it's no longer there. So, what secret method did she use? It won't be easy to figure out. It's called a secret method for a reason. Um, actually... <laughs> no worries, guys. As long as we leave it to Shuichi, everything will be A-OK. -okay. We know the answer. What? What are you saying? We can't just rely on Shuichi all the time. Yes, our friends. It's a team effort. <laughs> this class trial for all of us. We're here to solve this together. 
Mm. Oh, I can hear the gears <laughs> turning. Uh oh. <laughs> You would just slow down Shuichi. I know when Jeff doesn't push A right away, he's thinking. <laughs> and he's formulating something. <laughs> Shut up! I don't have time to deal with Kokichi. Right now, I need to focus on the case. I'm positive that Mio used some kind of special method to get to the mansion. Okay. I just have to figure out what it was. She's an object! <laughs> oh, that's rude. I said rude. it. I said it! <laughs> <laughs> She's a, oh, she's a woman. <laughs> not an object, Beth. A way across that only me you knew about. Is it in the Monokuma file? It's like a hidden bridge. Besides that signboard, maybe? Or instead of bridge. The wall. The wall Mew yeah. used some kind of vehicle to go over. Or maybe she teleported with magic. I think it's agreeing with that. Yeah. Or she used a warp zone. Maybe there's a place you can cross without a bridge. A hidden route. That could only, only me could use. Oh, more it. agree with that. Yeah, uh, it's supposed to be possible to change places. You, uh, man, you guys are way off. Maybe I'm just pulling, or maybe I'm just pulling your legs. Oh, shut up! Yeah, a secret method only me knows. She tampered with the program. It's hard to imagine that has nothing to do with it. I'm sure, she changed something. So the wall to the way she could use only way she could use. What yeah. could it be? Yeah, I think that's the one. Hidden, hidden, hidden. Bridge vehicle. Yeah. I like the magic effect. Though. Yeah, uh -huh. that's cool. Or a warp zone. Or there's a place you can cross Doesn't without the bridge. Doesn't anyone know? A hidden route. That that only only me could, could use. use. Boom. Yep. You're I right. agree with the robot. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> oh, shit. Use my name, please. <laughs> I have a name. That's it, Kibo. There was a hidden route that only Mio could use. Hmm? Was there really? Mew modified the program to add a special wall to the world. The wall stretches along the y-axis, but we found two such walls in the virtual world. Come on, flip it. It's unclear whether Mew added the wall by the mansion or the wall near the chapel. Come on, we do number one detective! Wall, <laughs> that that <gasps> wall was set so the go. only objects could pass through. Oh! I'm agreeing with you! No, you're... you're I'm uh, arguing with yeah. you. Oh, I read uh, agree too. Yeah. What, is, yeah. what is it, Kaito? Jeez, me set up a weird wall like that? Only fools set up walls. That is suspicious, but it's got nothing to do oh, with yeah, what we're talking about. Oh yeah, maybe this whole trial is just set up to break Kaito's trust in everyone. Like, that's what Kokichi's goal is. Nothing huh. to do with it. Makes sense. Hmm, you don't even realize your mistake? Are you losing your edge? Oh, well, my sidekick's mistakes are my mistakes. I'll make it right. Yeah, because he's trying to... Uh, he's trying to, like, trying to split us apart. Yeah. Uh, Muse Avatar, probably. Cool sword, bro. What was that you figured out? What, we got to figure out. Oh, sorry. For, it's from the chapels. So why... What? About the, is pointless. I remember when I used to play this game with you guys. <laughs> we got to do something. Now, wait. Just a sec. It's not actually impossible at all. What? That wall you set up only lets humans go through. Humans aren't able to... Humans aren't able to pass. It's obvious to... This is the, the hardest thing. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Nah, She's okay. not an up. object. Allow me to cut we know, yeah, we know what it is. Allow me to cut yeah. through your trust in others. The wall wasn't the only thing that Miu changed. She, she also, also changed, changed her, her avatar underwear. settings Oops. from human to object. From human to object? Which means the virtual world treated her avatar as an object. She could have passed through a wall that only non-humans could go through. Is, is that right? Don't get ahead of yourself, Kaido. We need to listen to everything Shuichi says. I already told you, the more you try, the more you cause us trouble. It's so totally lame that your own sidekick is dissing you. Ouch. Kokichi, enough. I wasn't arguing with him, I was just explaining. Yeah, hey, I don't care, it doesn't bother me at <laughs> all. Just means every even I make mistakes. Don't worry about this, Shuichi. Be a forever Aww. optimist. I love you. Uh, okay. I love Kaito. space. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty funny seeing Kaido try to act all tough like this. I'm not acting tough. I'm just 
Kokiji, please refrain from making such irrelevant and irrational remarks. So if Mew messed with the program and made a wall only she could go through... Then her secret route was through that wall. That's... that's it, right? Like using a glitch in a game to walk outside the map? I bet Mew had, had a hidden passage like that in the back of the chapel. She used no clip. <laughs> oh, I just spit everywhere. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> but even if she could walk through walls, was there really a hidden passage? Because Mew said... No, you're not trapped here. Beyond that wall is the end of the world, literally. Past that wall, nothing exists. Everything ends there. Said Mew in my flashback. She probably lied. There'd be no point in going if there was nothing on the other side. Mew lied. Huh. I wonder what the truth is. There's no way to find out now. That cum-soaked urinal cake was totally lying about there being nothing past that wall. What Woo! is going on with this game and the, and the jizz stuff? <laughs> she lived a life of pride, vulgarity, and secrets. Lying would be a piece of cake for her. Yuck. Kokichi, you have no... You know I have to go that far. Stop it. Don't badmouth mommy. Oh, you remembered. Monotaro! Listen to you talking about mommy like she was a terrible lying whore. Her mommy wasn't lying. There was no hidden root in that virtual world. Oh, there wasn't, huh? Hey, you can't tell him such an important hint. Oh. If you say that hint is important, then I guess it must be true. No, oh, shoot, shoot! What was the hint? There's no hidden root. Uh, I mean, we already know, though. Yeah. Ah, jeez. You're lucky you're cute. Was Kokichi saying all that stuff about Mew to get the cubs to reveal something? I guess I should thank him, but I have no idea why he does things sometimes. So, now that we know there's no hidden root, why did she manipulate the program? If there's actually nothing past the wall, then that setting was meaningless. <sighs> Mew wouldn't have done something meaningless. She would have had a plan. Yes, Mew definitely wanted to be able to go through that wall for a reason. We aren't sure why yet, but once we solve the mystery of the virtual world... Mystery of virtual world? There have been a lot of strange occurrences in the virtual world. If we can determine why... We will also determine what Mia was up to. We'll know why she wanted to pass through the wall. All right, let's clear up those strange occurrences. Yeah, Ganta will help, even though Ganta not know what you're talking about. Ganta. Speaking of strange occurrences, I'm just plain worried about that one thing. Remember that that the thing that made us notice all the strange occurrences? The bang. Yeah, the event that events that led us there. The O oh, and the bang. Yeah. Bang, bang. Got it. Bang. <laughs> Sorry, that's as loud as I go. <laughs> you mean the loud sound that you and I heard in the kitchen? Ooh. Bang. Bang. It's like Mike hitting his microphone. <laughs> bang. <laughs> yeah, we know. What was sound. that? <laughs> said I said in my flashback. <laughs> oh, you all heard that sound too. Yes, in the mansion's kitchen. But that sound occurred near the chapel. How did you hear it all the way at the mansion? First off, sound can't go past the map loading point. Well? Did that sound really come from the chapel? Yes. The sound was something hitting the chapel wall. It was real loud. And we definitely heard it. We heard Kibo's voice as well. Because they're just objects. Yeah. Now let's go check outside. Oh, oh no. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> that was Kibo's voice, right? I think I heard him outside. He sounded close. I said in my flashback. I looked to the left. You heard my voice, too? What? That is pretty strange. Exactly. It has to be some kind of clue to the mystery of the virtual world. Okay, well, let's check for the answers later and try to find all the other clues first. Nah. There was another mysterious phenomenon in the virtual world, wasn't there? Kokiji talked like he noticed something, pretending not to know. He 
and Ganta is suspicious of me? I always thought you'd be the one to trust me. What? So, sorry, Ganta not mean it like that. There's no need to apologize to him. He's probably just lying again. What was the other strange occurrence? Did you see it, Shuichi? Another mysterious phenomenon. Something that shouldn't be possible, like me in the mansion or that loud noise. I need to remember everything else that happened in there. Oh, hey. All right. Mine, uh, mine. mine, mine. Okay. Mine, Get mine. that meth corner up. Yeah. Cue it up, baby. Mine, mine. As you guys know, we go to our Discord. Discord. We've got a channel called Meth Corner. AR. And this is where people ask us questions, such as... And this one came in, like, just now. <laughs> Out of Thanks, all names. the Danganronpa games, which one has the best mini games? Oh. Two. I'm not good with names, I asked think two. Baby. two had that atrocious hangman, though. But it did have that snowboarding. Snowboarding was fun, but the hangman's gambit was bullshit. Mm. I mean, yeah, the, Jeff, that's really a question for you. Cause, you're right. Because <laughs> you're the one that played them all. Um... <laughs> Number ones had the most un like I didn't hate any of number ones, but they were all kind of variations on a very similar theme, and they um, the trials weren't as complex, mm -hmm. uh, which I don't appreciate. I like the additions to the trials in number three. I don't like how they do the mass pa mass pa the mass panic talk action. I think number one nailed it, and I'm not sure why they changed it. Because now it's like you have to hold the button at certain times. It just gets really finicky, and I can never how find frustrating. the rhythm. frustrating. Sorry. How frustrating. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I'd say three overall, because three is the least number of things I don't like, and I like the trials. I the do best. feel like these games have definitely been improving upon themselves, like the yeah. gameplay mechanics at the very least. Yeah. So three, the answer is three names. Yeah. Thanks, I'm not good with names. We love you. We love you. Um, I is Bunny. If you could have voiced a different character from any of the Europa games, who would it be and why? I would voice um, Kibo because neither of the boys wanted him. Oh. I would I take him. I was trying to be charitable. Names has another good one. Oh. He said, uh, well, hang on. I'm, I'm going to solve the puzzle soon unless you guys want Oh, never mind. Is it a long one or short? No. Nope, well, yeah, it's kind of long. Okay. Save right. it. Save it, yeah, my child. I would have loved saved. to take a crack at voicing Rantauer and Nagito. Especially uh, Nagito, just because I felt like there's a good symmetry with Makoto. Like if Mike had chosen Haji Haji and I chose Nagito, I think uh. it'd be kind of cool. Uh huh. But I like what Mike did, so it's hard for me to say for sure. Dang. Otherwise, I think I've gotten everything I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. want more boys. I keep getting cast as all the girl characters, which like I get. <laughs> but I could be Kibo. Yeah. Do you want to? You want to take Kibo? Yeah. We pass him off again. <laughs> okay. Wait, are really? Giving, are we giving if Beth you want Kibo, Kibo right now? Kibo. I just... Kibo, we're just I'm handing not, him off. I don't have any characters to voice right That's now. That's how I felt. Okay. Oh, she, she really? Yeah. I can have Kibo? If you want Kibo. Okay, Beth's Kibo now. Oh, yay! Kibo doesn't Kibo identify as a upgrade. boy, so it's fine. Guys, Beth is Kibo. <gasps> Good luck. Have fun. Yep, yeah, yeah, here it is. <laughs> Do we still have... Is everybody still balanced with their voices? I think what should happen is... Not really, but no one is going to be at this point. Not at this point. I think we should start saying the same lines, and then I'll just kind of get quieter and quieter, and then... That right. might be hard during the debate. A slow, we'll find out. <laughs> a mass panic debate. <laughs> yeah. it. God, oh shit. The sign that we were using as a bridge was odd to me. Odd how? We mentioned it before, but Miu dropped the sign in the river. But if you lose Ganta, you should have Kibo. Just, it's... Keep Kibo! <laughs> Alright. <sighs> We've seen this a million times. Whoops, my hand slips hit yeah. Mew. <laughs> We found it later, but there was something unnatural about it. Finding the sign was definitely weird. I'm most confused by how the sign got there. I should remember exactly what happened with that sign. All right, here we go. Oh, another math corner so soon. Oh. oh uh, man, names okay. asked, how did we all meet? Oh. Well, did we answer that ever? I don't know if we did. Not in one question. Yeah. I think it's come up here and there. Um, um, Jeff and I met at a party at the University of Michigan. Mm -hmm. A friend, uh, he, he was in choir with you, right? Correct, he was in, in the choir I was in. So one of my like childhood friends from middle school uh, went to University of Michigan for college and was hosting a party. And I went to the party and Jeff was at the party. And we had a conversation about what art is. Yep. <laughs> in the kitchen, just drunkenly. Classic party conversation. Uh -huh. And it was great. And we got along swimmingly, mm -hmm. and then we might have never talked to each other again after that. 
except right. that you wanted to move to California. Yes. And you had heard that I was moving to California. And so just kind of on a whim, uh, Jeff and I decided to be roommates when we moved to California. And I went ahead and ruined that plan <laughs> and just got an apartment by myself and left Jeff out to dry. And I still feel bad about it that. It wasn't a surprise, though. Like, this was a process where it was like, it was really hard for me to find an apartment remotely because I was still in Michigan. Because, mm-hmm. like, you need to meet the landlord and sign yeah. an application and, like, verify they your They would credit. not let me get an apartment for the other two yeah. to hang out with. So Muse on these billboards. Oh, as well? Just, okay. oh, so maybe it's just random women. There's two, it's Mew and, it's, oh, it's Mew and, uh, Kokichi. Kokichi. Weird. Okay. Huh. And uh, then, yeah. But yeah, anyway, so, uh, uh, oh, so. Oh, it's her weird drawing version yeah. of herself. Mm-hmm. So it was hard for us to find an apartment that worked for all of us when two of us were remote. So Beth was like, I got, I got to move because you had a job or something. I had a job and I was staying with my boyfriend at the time and he was like, you need to move out. Yeah. So we were like, okay, Beth, that's fine. You can. And another friend of mine said they were looking to move as well, so it worked out. So it worked out. Yeah, yeah but that's how Jeff and I met. Mm-hmm. And then we started taking improv together and became very close friends. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Mike and I met at work yep. in the kitchen. Fuck. And we've told that story before. We fell in love in the kitchen of Ignition. Yep. Hot and fresh out the, in the kitchen. <laughs> and then Beth was like, hey, Mike, I think we're, I'm, gonna have, I'm having people over at my new apartment. Uh, and I think you're really going to like my friend Jeff. He really likes Super Smash Brothers. And I was like, oh, hell yeah. And that was the first time I met you, Jeff, was at Beth's when we played Smash together. Yeah, as, as most great friendships are made. Aww, yeah. you guys smashed. We got sma- we smashed. We smashed. Mike together. and I smashed, and yeah. now we're friends. Yep. <laughs> That's how we met. Thanks, yeah. names. I didn't, know if it, I didn't know if it'd become a real thing when we first smashed. I thought maybe, you know, just a quick quick bit of fun and then move on with our lives. Mm-hmm. But uh, I couldn't avoid each other, you know? Okay. So we got together. That's delightful. Oh, that's a great question. Yeah. Thanks, names. Memories, right? Yeah. I'm glad that I can remember. Uh, I have friends who I like. I do not remember how we met. Yeah, yeah. And it's the recent ones too. In the last five years, if you ask me how I met my like quote unquote new friends, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Like my buddy Greg. Well, I don't because remember it, how I like met I feel Greg. like the circumstances surrounding our meeting were like auspicious enough, like weird enough, like because you weren't from Michigan and I wasn't used to meeting people who weren't from Michigan what? and who also carried a oh, tablet. Oh, University of Michigan. Yeah, University of Michigan, and who also carried a tablet of with things they were working on on them. That's, I had my portfolio. You I showed portfolio, you my you portfolio. Showed, and I thought, wow, this person was really put together. <laughs> like, this person's an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> like, I have value. Here it is. Yeah. Well, no, it came out naturally because we were talking about that sort of thing. Mm-hmm. So wasn't like you were eager to show me your pro- portfolio. <laughs> also, you guys might have missed it because you're looking at questions. I murdered two people in the process of this. Nice. I was thinking yes. about our questions, so I got certain ones wrong. I was, <laughs> like, I was like, oh, wait, shit, I got to answer this. And then... This is a crazy driving sequence. Yeah, it's going a long time. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's putting together what we already know, so it's not super exciting. Mm. Ah. Man, oh Did man. we not meet once more before the California thing? I swear we, we must ran into each other at another part, like another one of those parties. I swear. You swear? I th- I, s- I think we did. I, I, I'm almost positive that we met at least one one more time at Jason. Oh, here's a good one. Uh, Niels slash Plague asked, "How tall are you guys?" Six one. Six two. Five two. That was easy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Niels. Can you tell? That one didn't require quite as much thought. <laughs> Ooh, what's your favorite video game soundtrack? Oops. Did we talk about that one? Oh, favorite video game. That was, Dece- that was December question. 10th, so I don't know. That's a good oh, question. Man. I, uh, off the bat, like if I really thought about this, it might not be this, but uh, right off the bat, Final Fantasy X. Well, I already went to Final Fantasy Tactics, but then I think Mega Man 2 is the one mm. that I'm going to go with. Mm. Uh, in terms of like amassed music, Hotline Miami. In terms of scored music, Doom, I think. Doom? The new Doom? Yeah, the new Doom, Doom soundtrack's really yeah. fucking good. New what? Good. It's really good. No way. I'll play some for you after this. It might not be your style, but it's very good. I, I know you sent me the JRPG way. songs, dude. Yeah. Uh, well, for that, you should listen to the... I know I'm going to keep banging on about Nier Automata, but Nier Automata soundtrack is legit. Nier Automata dope. Gucci? <laughs> Nier Automata Gucci, yes. <laughs> it appears, though, the sign was carried against the river's current. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Simugi. <laughs> we all saw Miu drop the sign and watch the river carry it downstream. And the river was was wide there. The sign should have traveled downriver towards the chapel, correct? It yes. didn't go against the river. I'm so <laughs> sick of this. Yeah. Ugh. It should have hit the wall on the far side of the chapel and stopped there. But that's not where we found it. 
We found it near the mansion, nestled in some rocks. Nestled. Put it together, Shuichi. I believe in you. You can do it, buddy. The signboard should have been near the chapel, but we found it on the other side. Hold up. Didn't Muse stay on the chapel side? No. She probably grabbed the signboard from the chapel wall to cross the river. Then left it on the boulders near the mansion so she could get back. <sighs> Why would she leave the signboard where it could get swept away and leave her stranded? Also, this has nothing to do with walking through the wall, right? We're getting off topic. Kokichi! <laughs> You're so close to the truth. We just have to connect the how and the what. Kokichi, you're me! <laughs> All of the mysterious things that happened have to connect with each other somehow. Connect how? <sighs> A wall only objects can pass through. Sounds that shouldn't be heard. A signboard going against the river current? How are they all connected? <laughs> I don't know. But Shuichi should know, right? Right, player character? What? <laughs> we would be in a lot of trouble if you didn't. The only one who can solve this mystery and save us all is you. Mm -hmm. So, how are they connected? Do you know, Shuichi? Um, w well, what we know so far is that the unnatural way the sign was carried is possibly related to the wall. Hmm? Uh... What is the question? What clue is related to the unnatural way the sign was carried to the river? The map of, map the, of the world? world? Try it. Toilet paper. No. Nope. <laughs> There's something only Miu knew about, and that's throwing us off. You say we're being thrown off, but you seem pretty calm. I think hmm. I'm a fraud. Um, it's my scared hair. So, Same is it the um, is it the wall or the setting? Oh, it's not the setting on Kokichi's. Bring up the question again. What clue is related to the unnatural way the signboard was carried on the river? I think it's got to it, be the wall, right? Does it want us to answer the yeah. question with truth or with what it, we think? Good question. Let's I see. think it's the wall. Oh, yeah. yeah. Got it. Nice. I feel I feel like he just said that, though. He's like, the wall and the river are connected. Then it's like, yeah. how is the wall and the river connected? The wall. The wall. What? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it might have to do with the wall that only objects can pass through. Oh, shoot. The sign should have stopped at the wall on the other side of the chapel. But if the wall happened to be the one that Mew set to allow objects through... Have you guys ever played Pong? <laughs> no, that's not a, a right example. Wait. Mario? Super Mario? On the Nintendo? Or Pac-Man? Have you ever played Pac-Man? Yeah, Pac-Man's <laughs> the, right, the right one. Yes. <laughs> Got it. Beth I see. You. It's a wall only non-humans can pass through. My bad. So Kibos, wood planks... Toilet papers. That means the signboard can pass through the wall, right? Even if it could pass through the chapel wall, how did it end up by the mansion? Infinity. It's a loop. The only way it could do that if the, the wall was a warp zone, but that's not right. Uh. That's right. What? That's the real issue here. How could the signboard pass through the wall but end up on the mansion side? Easy. What would explain that? It's easy. Leave it to me, Shuichi. I, your partner, will give you hints and times of trouble. No. What? No, don't do it. Don't this lie. is the virtual world. We should throw away all our common sense, okay? What the hell does that even mean? Kokichi might be onto something there. But what? We need to forget about what we know and just think about it. If we put Kibo in the river. <laughs> <laughs> How did the signboard pass through the wall? That that that. How to do that? Focusing on the flow of the river. Downstream and upstream connect. Boom! Yeah, Thank oh. God. Got it. Confirmed. What if both ends of the river were connected? Both ends of river connected. What? Wish they hadn't made this so obvious with that like cobblestone path. And yeah. Stuff. Exactly. To put it another way, the river isn't cut off at the wall near the chapel. <laughs> it's all part of one big loop. The upstream part of the river is connected to it. Yeah, finally. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? Both ends of the river can't be connected. 
Again, throw out all common sense from your head. We're talking about the virtual world. And what about the wall? There was only one wall that could be passed through. Right, even if the river's connected and it goes through the chapel wall, it wouldn't have been able to go through the mansion wall too. Uh... <laughs> Wait, in that case... I got it. I know why Miu only set up one wall. What are you talking about? The reason she only set up one wall is because of the chapel and the mansion walls. They're, They're exact the duplicates! Wall. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> the walls by the chapel <laughs> and the so mansion... That's so sweetly like, all oh, bad. Oh, oh, so sorry. <laughs> the walls by the chapel and the mansion aren't separate. They're the same wall. Wow. The same wall... It's not just the river. The walls themselves are connected. Don't think of it as two separate walls, but a single wall parallel to the y-axis. Just roll up a piece of paper. That single wall divides the entire just virtual world. throw the toilet world. paper in there. <laughs> the idea is you pass through the wall by the chapel and come out by the mansion. The world is a tube. <laughs> yeah. Everything is starting to connect. See, didn't I tell you? Everything is connected. Damn it, Kokiji. Just tell us what you know. Shh, it's okay. More importantly, <laughs> this is the final stretch. Ugh. If both the river and the wall are connected, then you can find the secret. Shuichi, you already know the secret behind the virtual world, right? Well, she used the board to surf. <laughs> no, no, I don't know. Mew huh? used surf. No, she didn't really. Oh. I suppose we should clear that up. We need to solve the mystery of the virtual world. Is it another psych text? Oh, hey, Miss Whoa. Gabby. Oh, boy. How are we going to spell here? Yawn. Okay, let's go look back to it. Do you know what it is? No, right. but I'm going to. I'm just going to guess the first letter. Yep. Get that Get that logic. Wormhole. No, it's Warriors. Happy. Karma says, if you lived what? in a video oh. game universe, which one would it be? Pokemon got across oh, yeah, the I think land. We, I think we Far about and that. wide. Release from my hand <laughs> the power that's inside. <laughs> Knitter and cocking. Devin the dildo. <laughs> World what? <laughs> that was oh that wrong. That's very wrong. Mew's infected me. Um, I don't know. I think I would live. Pokemon sounds fun. So fun. Yeah. There's like not a lot of horror. Most creatures are kind. Stay out of tall grass, you'd be all right. Yeah. Fuck up. Yeah. Fuck up. World fun. Ender. World Ender. It's World Ender. World Logic. Damn it. Oh, is that it? Is it World Logic? It totally is. Oh my Good God. job, Mike. Really? I'm smart. Nailed it. Oh, hey. World Loop. World Loops. The World Loops. World. World logic loops. No, it's loops. Love. Crystal Fujimori, what's your favorite flavor? <laughs> of all time? I think I love this question. <laughs> it's really evocative. Uh, I think I love this question. Mint. Because there's there's different things, right? Yeah, so mint's delicious. But do, do you mean like... So I like bananas. I hate banana flavor. You know? Yeah. But if, if I like had all of the popsicles in front of me... I would go with cherry. I like cherry flavor. However, if I had like an orange and cherries and grapes and all of those in front of me, would I pick cherry? I don't think so. Mm. I'm gonna say apple, because apple is rely. I'm al I'm almost always gonna like anything flavored apple, no matter For what. For real. I like apples. I like apple candy. I like apple juice. I like apple soda. I like apple schnapps. I mm -hmm. like apple, uh, all kinds of apples. I like apple pie. Apple cobbler. I, by that logic, I would say lemon. That's a good one. I like all things flavored lemon. I like lemons themselves. I like adding lemons to things. But my favorite food isn't lemon. Yeah, that's it's an interesting question. Are you going to grab that S? What's going on? I'm here? waiting for you guys to finish answering because I didn't want to cut you off. What's your favorite I said flavor? mint. Oh, there oh, we go. <laughs> <laughs> I said mint at the beginning, and then you're like, but there's so Mints. many things. <laughs> 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 Fucking mint. Got it. It's mint. I'm sorry. That's it. The world is a loop. It's I mint, love guys. Mint. It's mint. It's mint. It's mint. It's mint. It's mint. Mint? Loop? Just like in old games, right? Like, for example. Mario. 
when a character goes off the left side of the screen and reappears on the right, like balloon yes, fight. E- exactly. The edges of the virtual world are linked together in a continuous loop. Oh. The virtual world loops? What in the world? What in the virtual world? <laughs> if that's true, it would explain the way the signboard was swept away. Let's show this so many times yeah. so we can really visualize it. Kibo, it I want to put you the, in the ocean! It vanished <laughs> into the wall downstream of the river. It came out of the same wall upstream. Uh, as displayed right here. Yeah. <laughs> for the fourth or fifth time. <laughs> wow. We goes. took away the borders there and there it is. Cool. And floated with the current until it caught on the rocks. What was this world like before Miu added the wall? Actually, there wasn't a wall on the y-axis at all, and the x-axis was set to loop. Are you serious? Even if it's a computer program, isn't that too crazy? A looping world. That's more extraordinary than even magic. That's what the but world at is. Least it's not a boring answer. Guys, that's ex- what the actual that's Earth the does, yeah. you dumb <laughs> shits. All circle. Unless they're saying are that they the all Earth flat is earthers? flat. Are they all flat earthers? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Chike off. Why are you Chike. Earth f- f- flat earth deniers? Are you earth deniers? Deniers. <laughs> it also explains deniers all the, the things earth. that happened. <laughs> huh? It doesn't explain everything, does it? Because we still don't know why we heard that one sound or Kibo's voice. Yeah, that sound doesn't go past the map loading point. Actually, if we knew if we know what the world is at loop, we can explain that as well. Sweet. Huh? Really? Yes, but first we need to be clear where the loop starts. Where <laughs> where the loop starts? Where the loop starts? Doesn't it loop at the walls next to the mansion and chapel? Not necessarily. If we heard a noise at the chapel from inside the mansion, then the loop... It's the, it's the squiggly line, right? I don't... What's the question? Where does the loop? Okay. Got it. Because that's where the loading zone is, because, like, the map is deceptive. Yeah. It's actually... Yeah. The map loading point was where the virtual world looped. Do it. We thought the loading point was the middle of the map. Cut it in half. Yep. Thank God! There it is! Finally! Mm. Praise Jesus! <laughs> Praise Atua! <laughs> Praise the Lord! <laughs> but the loading point was actually at the edges. So the wall Mew created wasn't at the edges of the world, but rather her wall was at the center of the world. I see. So the mansion and chapel were near each other with a wall between them. And any sound emitted near the chapel would also reach the mansion. The wall only allows non-humans to pass through, so sound should be able to pass through easily. That's right. That's how the virtual world works. I must be an object. (laughs) 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 Impressive, Shuichi. For you to get this far, yes, yes, you are useful indeed. For you to get this far, what are are you supposed to get a villain pulling the strings? Nope. Mew pulled the strings here, not me. Remember? Mew also set this trap. Yep. It all began when Mew showed us this map. Because of the map, we mistakenly thought the loading point was at the center. Which, in turn, made the mansion and chapel seem farther away from each other. But the structure of the world wasn't actually like that. Sorry, I just needed to interject, I guess. <laughs> there was a wall along the X axis, or the Y axis, and the X axis came around in a loop. By putting the wall in the center of the world, she cut off the loop. So, ever since Mew showed us that map, we were caught in her trap. But we solved this mystery thanks to Shuichi. All hail our savior. Weird. Yeah, if Shuichi wasn't here, then we never would have solved this mystery. That's right. Good work, Shuichi. <laughs> Thanks, Shuichi. You saved us. Um, you're welcome. Uh, yuck. So weird. Yeah, this is us. so weird. Uh, Kaito knows it. 
Just because we found out the virtual world secret doesn't mean we can take it easy yet. Actually, this culprit heart hunt just got to the exciting part. Yes, it did. Even if we know all the tricks, it's pretty meaningless if we don't find the culprit. That's how the class trial works, after all. Kokiji talking like Monokuma again. No matter what you say, I'm not going to believe your lies. Spits on Kokichi. <laughs> you would. I'm going to believe in everyone. That's how I'm going to reach the truth. <laughs> I can't wait to see what happens next. What is Kokichi's plan here? Interesting. They play Monokuma's theme. They oh, just yeah. play Monokuma's theme just now. Oh, yeah. when like Kokichi has yeah. a big moment. Had Monokuma's theme. I don't, I don't know. Definitely prodding at Kaito on purpose. Well, there's no point. In t there's no time for distractions like him. There's always time for distractions. What we have like to him. do is find the culprit who killed Miu. It doesn't matter how many little mysteries we solve. If we can't find the culprit, it would be all for nothing. I still don't know for sure who it could be. Who used Miu's own plan against her to kill her? Who killed Miu? Intermission? I think so, yep. Class trial intermission. What do we do, guys? I mean, I'm fine with going for the full. The f the should full we do the run. full hour? Yeah, I think so. We owe it. Okay. Hey, we don't know sh anything. <laughs> we did do <laughs> like extra long Monday and Tuesday episodes. But fine, we just better find a, a good stopping point. All right. <laughs> Man, I'm bushed. I got mo no motivation at all. And Monophanes' period is late, too. I have a pyramid! <laughs> Father, why do you know Monophanes' cycle? Never mind that. Perhaps this lack of motivation is due to a lack of hibernation. Lack of hibernation? Yeah, I haven't been sleeping well lately, so I haven't really been able to hibernate. That's awful. What could be causing it? Your period. <laughs> is it because you have a lot on your mind? Huh. Is it because the graveyard shift pays a betterly hourly wage? It's betterly! <laughs> betterly, betterly, huh? <laughs> hmm. Is it because you don't want them to think you're just goofing around? Hmm. Is it because you want to stay friends? Hmm. Is it because you want to watch it in real time? Hmm. Father? He's gone into hibernation. We should let him be. Yeah, you're right. Night, night. I do not know what just happened there. Uh, I, don't know. I liked it better than most other <laughs> theaters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, my my head. Monotaro, pull yourself together. Hey, I feel like I'm forgetting something important to me, but I I just can't. Uh, my head, my head hurts so much. I just can't remember. If you've forgotten, maybe it's for the best. From this point forward, let's start a new life for ourselves. After all, our baby's excited to meet his daddy, you know? Ew. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm going to be a father? <laughs> anyway, and that's another mini before. mono. She has her baby and it's Junko. Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> what a colossal death flag. I'll be surprised if he doesn't die after that. More importantly, let's continue the conversation where we left off. I'm invested in the mono, baby. <laughs> <laughs> we understand Mew plotted the murder, but we need to find out who killed her. And in order to figure that out, we need to understand Mew's actions. So, let's discuss her murder scheme step by step. I know that's important, but hearing you lead the conversation really pisses me off. Let's see. Mew manipulated the virtual world to use it as part of her murder plan. Murder plan. Don't just ignore me and start anyway. <laughs> if she had succeeded, she would have gone past the wall between the chapel and mansion, and then wham, murdered me on the roof with a hammer. Mm, she would make the murder seem like it happened in the real world and then pin it on Kaito. As for Mew's alibi in the real world, she could say she was logged into, into the virtual world. And in the virtual world, she could say she was near the chapel the entire time. She'd make an excuse about how she couldn't reach the mansion because of the fallen bridge. She's actually really Oops. bad at murder because she very obviously hit the bridge yeah. side. Yeah. Oh, what? 
They're actually playing it now? Whoops, my hand slept. No flashback effect? Said Mew. She dropped the bridge on purpose so she could separate the chapel from the mansion. Said Kokichi. Then secretly passed Whoa. the wall she installed <laughs> and took upsetting. advantage of the loop. I <laughs> hated that. <laughs> What's going to happen again? Yikes. After, she headed to where we were supposed to meet up, the mansion's rooftop. Kokichi said. Oh, yeah. Kaito was probably logged out around that time, too. That's when I saw Mew, I said. <laughs> I guess that's it. <laughs> Problem is, because of her murder plans, we don't even know where she was killed. She was killed on the roof, right? Kokichi told us the roof door was locked and he couldn't get through. Maybe that wouldn't culprit kill her. That's probably what happened. The culprit killed her on the locked roof. Oh, <laughs> excuse me. Did the corp did the culprit lock the door to the roof? Perhaps. I don't think Mew did. If Mew did lock it, she would have done it when she called Kokichi to the roof. Even if someone came up, I don't believe she would change the target of her plan. She knew that Kokichi would come up later. Locking the door would be suspicious. Well, it's possible she didn't even think that far ahead. <laughs> But she was smart. But she was also really, really dumb. <laughs> no, say such me things. Ganta. Oh, Ganta probably did it. Ganta did Killing it. game bad, not Mew. Mew not bad person. Ganta think we could have been friends if things were different. Ganta. That might have been difficult, even without this killing game. That wouldn't happen. Oh. Nuh-uh. No way, Jose. Huh. Anyway, let's continue this discussion. If you <laughs> were killed on the roof of the mansion, none of us would be friends with Mew. Yeah, the culprit <laughs> must have moved Mew's avatar to the chapel after killing her, right? I'm really, really trying to piece this together. Because if Ganta killed Mew on the roof because of Kokichi, he would have had to strangle her on the roof. And then what, dispose of the body by just like tossing it down to the side of the chapel? But then what's up with all of the different, like, the ha well, the hammer came out of her pocket, the cell phone came out of the pocket, but the pallet? Like, who slid her down the side of the roof? Did Kokichi do that just to confuse everybody? Yeah, Kokichi might have told Gonza to do that. So that, to mix, to, to reveal the trick. Because if, if, if Mew had just died on the roof, we would have never learned the trick of the... The passing Of the passing forth. through, yeah. Okay. So the next thing we should talk about is how they moved her avatar. Now we know the mansion and the chapel were actually next to it each other. It was definitely a sled down the side, though. Yeah, yeah. that's why there's snow. Mm -hmm. yep. But the problem is the wall between them. And because the thing's an object. Yeah. Only Mew is able to go through that wall. The culprit wouldn't have been able to. Then you're saying the culprit sent Mew's avatar through the wall? Yeah, that's the only way, right? They're finally saying true things. Mm -hmm. But how did the culprit send Mew's avatar through the wall? On a sled. <laughs> I mean, it's not like they could have thrown her. Got to not throw her. We know you couldn't because the avatar's physical strength with the, it was equalized. Yeah, or it could even be Kokichi didn't tell Ganta to do it. What happened was that Ganta killed her. And then Kokichi, just knowing that the only way that Ganta could successfully be pinned and save all of them was if he did this to reveal the secret. Yeah, I mm -hmm. think that's true. Yeah. Physical strength equalized? Ganta just purely based on, like, I am a bodyguard. That's all I know. Took yeah. her out. Mm -hmm. That problem. Ganta no can protect everyone if that happens. But why did he have toilet paper on him? That's a good question. I don't know. Jeez, keep up with us. We're already in the second half of the class trial. Meta game. Hmm. How did they send Mew's avatar to the other side of the wall? Maybe that thing has something to do with it. You know, the loud sound you heard. Bang. What was that? <laughs> because of that sound, you guys went to the side of the chapel, right, Key Boy? That's when you found the dead Mew there, right? If so, then I think that sound and her avatar being by the chapel are related. Yes, there's no doubt in my mind that the noise is related to this case. We need to figure out what this, that sound could have been. It might be the clue we need to solve this case. So what was it? it? sounded like something slamming hard into something else. 
So what were those two things? It could be. A lattice hitting yeah, the wall. Yeah, hitting the wall. Mew hitting the wall, right? It's three or four. Yeah, it's three Mew. I think it's. Yeah, we're not uh, we're not far enough to save us. The we lattice. can't get Good call. <laughs> I think the sound came from Mew's avatar hitting the chapel wall. The hammer, cell phone, and lattice were there, but they were too small to make that noise. Ruling those out, the only other explanation is that the sound was Mew colliding with the wall. God, what an unintentionally Ouch. like comedic slapstick death. Yeah. Right? Just to be sled down a w- <laughs> sled down a roof and then bam, Wrangle YouTube prank wall. style into a wall. Oh. <laughs> if that's the case, Mew's avatar must have hit the chapel wall pretty hard. We felt the impact all the way from inside the chapel. Yeah, that's the real question. Mew's avatar probably hit the chapel's wall with pretty considerable force. But why did it hit the wall with such force? Can you guys figure it out? You know! Hold on, Kukichi. What's up with the way you're talking? Why are you talking like you know everything? Because you know everything. Let's not worry about that now. More importantly, we gotta solve the mystery. Fighting among friends is a waste of time. Friends? Us? Uh. Anyway, we can talk about that after we figure this problem out. Can we? <laughs> a way of transporting Mew's avatar that would cause it to crash into the chapel. Hmm. Have you guys seen Cork's photo? No. It's like smeared in blood. It's really creepy. It? Yeah. Getting Mew's avatar to crash into the chapel from the mansion's roof. There's only one way I can think of how to do that. Can we see it? No. Can we see it? No. No. Hey, Shuichi. As your partner, I'll give you a little hint. Nope. <laughs> Yo, what? Since the mansion was on top of the hill, the roof was pretty high up, right? Past the brick handrail, the roof was at a pretty steep slope. And the slope faced the chapel wall. On top of that, there was snow on the roof. Ricky, you're spelling it out for yeah, us. Yeah, I was going to say, all right. If the, culprit needed to force, if the culprit needed force to move the body, I wonder how they did it. How uh, they did it? Hmm. Kokichi is talking as if he's got the whole thing figured out already. But I can't let him distract me. I need to solve the case. Maybe Kokichi actually wants to pin it on Kaito. No, because he said Kaito locked out. So he's already cleared Kaito's suspicion. <laughs> How to make Mio hit the chapel wall from the roof of the mansion? I'm going to find the answer. Oh, god damn it. So sled? Probably? Down the roof. Oh, yeah. Nice. Is it really? Nope. Aww. <laughs> that sucked. <laughs> Love you too. <laughs> What a guess. Uh, luge. Ice luge. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Just try L. Sled. Slide. Yeah, S. We did it. Did we do S up top? No. S- oh, slid. Slid something? Slid off roof. Oops, I fucked up. I'm sorry. Uh, that's probably it. Slid off roof. Open it up, meth corner man. Oh. Come on. Give me Whoa, what? Oh, is that a hidden model Kuma? Nice. Yeah. No way, in this? Yeah. <laughs> you can catch that. Oh, that's crazy. You might not even have time for a meth corner question at this rate. Is there a quick one? Is there a quick, at, quick one? Oh, no. Go into the right. What's G-O-T-Y? Gratuitive pictures of Game yourself? Of oh. <laughs> we did that. I think we answered yep. that. You had it. It's the one that's going on the right. Oh, yeah. Well. All right. I solved it. <laughs> sorry. Don't be sorry. Got it. I was looking Game for a quick question. Wild, just, for uh, sure. I think we answered that. Probably. The culprit used the sloped roof as a slide from Yu's avatar. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. A slide? Nah, man, even with the slope and the snow, Mew's body wouldn't have slid. Wrong. It would slide. But the avatars can generate friction. We wouldn't be able to walk otherwise. So I doubt that would have had that much momentum. No, no. It would slide. It wouldn't slide, just like my girl said. No sliding. (laughs) <laughs> it would slide, just like Shumami said. Or Shumai said. 
What the hell's Shumai? Oh, he, he's a pupil of ramen man. Oh, I'm sorry, my hobby slipped in. <laughs> what? I'm positive that that's how Mew's avatar was moved. But... What? Okay. Maybe the culprit used something else as, a, as well to help her body slide. Ramen? It's, the, it's definitely ramen. It's, ramen. it's, definitely it's ramen, ramen, man. You know ramen how slick man. that broth is? <laughs> Put a lot of broth there and then whoo, it takes off. Signboard as a bridge. Lattice. 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 If her avatar Lattice. slid off the roof, would it slide off that quickly? With a nice push. Well, duh, it would. If it made that much noise, uh, it must have built up a lot of speed. Lots of snow piled on roof, but not frozen solid, right? He'd still slide, though. In the real world, it might be difficult, but in the virtual world, perhaps not. That's not the issue. Sliding down the snow is easy to do. You just need a sled or skis to cut the friction. There was nothing like that around, though. Yes, there was. Kill it! Kaito. Boom. What? That's wrong. I'm sorry. I have to counter you again. Kaito, you were on the roof. I'm just testing you. Obviously, <laughs> this is a test. No, wait. There was something that could have been used to help slide Mew's body. Do you remember the lattice that was found by her avatar? The culprit laid her on top of that, then used it as a sled on the roof. I did notice the lattice in the storage room when I looked first. But during the investigation, I saw it was gone. The lad that was found next to the chapel is the one that disappeared from the roof? Then that's it. The culprit used the lattice as a sled. Ding, ding, ding. That's correct. Hmm. Are they going to demonstrate it in the virtual world? Will it be a flashback? No. Oh, oh whoa. whoa! Animation. Who's after the doing it? Oh, is that going to be how the final argument is? Are we going to get like virtual panels? That'd be cool. Yeah. Or it's like the... illustrated in the way that Miu had her yeah. self-portrait illustrated. Oh god, that'd be great. After Miu, after the culprit killed Miu on the rooftop, they placed her corpse on a sled and slid her down the roof steep slope. Whoa! <laughs> oh fuck! Sled <laughs> picked up speed. We also roof. that was insane. We yeah. installed rocket boosters on it. <laughs> For maximum <laughs> speed. Glided through the wall, only objects could pass through and hit the chapel. A -ba bang. Oh. Dead. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, there goes their animation budget. Yep. All gone. The impact made all of her belongings scatter, including the hammer and cell phone. Just like that hedgehog who loses all his rings whenever he <laughs> crashes into stuff. Oh shit, Mike. Naming no names. I, I hate that guy and his worldwide fame and his stupid games and I, I hate that hedgehog. Yes, perfect. I was hoping you'd yeah. be like that. <laughs> yeah. Daddy, I'm glad you're feeling motivated again, but you shouldn't be so hateful. It's bad for the baby. <laughs> Gotta oh, yeah. set an example for our new family. Basically. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, father, or should I start calling you grandfather now? Uh now that we know how the body slid down, we're just one step away from the culprit. And we are one step away from coming <laughs> I was, back. I was going to say, we're going to take that step <laughs> oh, when, when we, we come, come back. back. I like my <laughs>